for you, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into um, Krishan and this jail debacle situation. I want to uh, talk about a couple things with it. Um, not going to hold y'all up too long, but it's a couple things that uh, I read in this and that was definitely brought to my attention as well after I did my video that I want to speak about. So this says, in addition to this charge, there have been several calls and emails indicating that Malone committed another assault in November 2023 in Los Angeles, which would be, um, oh, dude, uh, y'all know who I'm talking about, child. Um, an attempt to retrieve a police report or some type of documentation of his assault has been requested but could not be located per the California uh, Interstate Compact Unit. Uh, James, thank you. Which means it's not a police report out there for James. This is what this police report says. I'm just saying. Malone's whereabouts still remain unknown. She has not reported her whereabouts to the state of California or the state of Oklahoma. Reporting for supervision remains her responsibility, not her attorney's nor any supervision authority, she does not appear to understand the significance of following the court's orders. Krishan, if you don't get your affairs in order and take your ass to, uh, well, turn your ass in, she going to be in a whole different world of trouble. And I don't know why she playing this game. I really don't. Like, at some point, you got to realize that this is no longer a game. This is not a game, bro. And then she's making it worse for herself because the longer she waits to turn herself in, the more that they're going to decide to take away, the more that they're going to charge her, <clears throat> the more they can put more time on her, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, turn yourself in, bro. 111 in the chat. No action appears to be taken on the date. Well, no action appears to be taken to date on the June 2023 20, violation report based upon the information compiled. It appears that Malone's behavior is escalating concern and imposes a risk to the community. It is still requested that an application to accelerate filing and warrant be issued and Malone answer for her actions. It is respectfully requested that she remain in Oklahoma until completion of any form of probation and or revoked for a time deemed appropriate by court. Krishan, do you know since you did not go handle your community service, they are going to make your ass stay in Oklahoma until further notice? Let me tell y'all something. Shout out to my good sis, Kendra. I always shout her out because we have conversations on a day-to-day -day basis. She says some things that definitely I'd be like, what? I ain't even think about it like that. But basically... Since she decided not to do her community service and also is on the internet for being exposed for punching people in the face and whatever, she now has to A, turn herself in as number one, but number two, she has to stay in Oklahoma until her term is complete. So say, for instance, she go out there and go to jail for 30 days. All right. After that, she going to have to find a house in Oklahoma to stay because she is not complying with the law enforcement of Oklahoma. Have you lost your damn mind? <laughs> the worst part about this is nobody can save her. And when I say nobody can save her, as in nobody she won't even listen to anybody. Why haven't you been doing your community service, but you're bragging about this money you got, da, da, da. What are you doing? Come on, bro. Krishan Malone is obligated to return to Oklahoma to address her non-compliance as per the ICAOS federal requirements. Therefore, it is further requested that Malone be ordered to pay restitution in the amount of transportation costs to be returned to Oklahoma to the, to the appropriate transporting agency. Then you got to pay them to come pick your ass up? Bro, I 
am absolutely disappointed in this child. Now, certain things I will say, I absolutely was like, ah, let's try another one. Ah, let's try another one. Because when I was her age, I was hell. But I absolutely paid all my court fees. I had, when anytime I had to go deal with the court in general, I went. I actually had a warrant one time. I was in the court. <clears throat> I was in the um, the courthouse. God, thank God, the lady that was there told me to t get my ass up out of there and go restrict my warrant so they didn't pick me up. And it was because of a suspended license. When you're in your 20s, girl, you make dumbass decisions. But this is stupid. And it's stupid because you have the money. Most of us, especially at my age, uh, when we were your age, did not have the money. <laughs> I mean, they asking us to pay $1,500 for a ticket, and I'm trying to pay $1,500 for my rent. What are we talking about? You literally got to pay them to come get you because you don't want to turn yourself in. You absolutely don't have your affairs in order, and I know that you over there trying to figure out, uh, are you going to stay for, or you trying to hide out to stay with Junior? Bro, you done fucked that all up. I would get in good graces with one of the best, uh, one of the best people I feel that's gonna watch my baby correctly. You either gonna leave him with blue face father or his grandma, Carlissa. And I know a lot of y'all are absolutely against that. And don't get me wrong, I am too. However, who else she gonna leave him with? I wait. I wouldn't leave them with no other soul, gang. Your best bet is probably Blueface's father because he's at Blueface's house. I don't think that Carlissa would do anything to harm that child. I really don't. Who I wouldn't leave him with is Jaden, but I'm just saying. But also, Blueface, he's in a, these, both these fools. Anyway. <laughs> Bluefoot is still in jail right now. However, Las Vegas has not picked him up at all. So since Las Vegas has not picked him up, by the time L.A. is done holding him, he can go back outside. This is a gift and not a curse. If she has to stay in Oklahoma... It is God that she can stay there so she can get the hell away from Bluefus. Now, although Bluefus would be able to hop his ass on a flight and go to Oklahoma, I don't know how good that would go over with Oklahoma. Because Oklahoma might find Bluefus to be an issue as well, especially with them being together, because they need her to stay out of trouble is the goal. We don't need you to be in trouble. We need you to be out of trouble. So we don't need you around another felon. So if it's to the point where you're a felon, he's a felon, y'all can't be near each other, both of these fools about to go to prison because for some reason they just can't stay away from each other. But I just cannot believe that you got them you got them, man, on a hunt to find you when you have the funds to take care of all that. I am. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So y'all can uh, y'all can go ahead and say I told you, I told you, I told you. That's cool. Um, I I had a little faith in her that she would at least handle this. However, I wasn't paying attention to the fact that she wasn't doing her probation. I didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm like, you know, if she's, you know, you got all this money, you doing whatever, handle that business. Uh -uh. So I think it's a great thing that she has to stay in Oklahoma, to be honest with you. Um, but the fact that you, now another thing, you let... Bluefus tell you to stop doing shows, which might be a gift and a curse because they was going to come pick your ass up anyway from your show. But to let Jaden do shows, basically Jaden picking up your shows, 
Jaden bag is up. We all know that's Blueface's bag, but it's up. And now you about to run out of money. Now that money's about to run out. Even on Snapchat, if you ain't doing Snapchats, you're not going to be getting no money. And if Snapchat decide they're not going to post you either, because technically Snapchat is the one running her Snapchat. If you decide you're not going to do any, you're not going to show anybody where you are or whatever, baby, Snapchat can pull it too. And then you really not going to have no means of money. Now, all that bullshit she was talking has caught up to her. It is what it is. I'm not in the business of lying, and I'm not in the business of being on the side of just, wh what? <laughs> what are we doing, bro? I'm sorry, y'all. I can't be on the side of that. She absolutely says she don't need nobody. She ain't listening to nobody. She going to do what she want to do. And uh, here we are. So I wanted to speak about that. Um, I did not see that piece. Shout out to Kendra for showing me that. Here we are. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Um, karma gonna always catch up with you, man. And man. That's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.